Welcome back everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dashboard in Power BI. This dashboard is based on the COVID-19 data for around the world. It's much easier than it looks and I'm going to be showing exactly how to do it. Now let's begin. The first thing that you would need to do if you already haven't done so is download Power BI. It's not compatible on MacBooks but you can download it on any kind of computer that has Windows on it. It can also be downloaded on any Apple or Android device, but not a MacBook. So on your browser, just search up Power BI Download and click the Microsoft website. And you just need to hit the download button right here Desktop for desktop. Or you can also download mobile on your Microsoft app or Google Play Store. It's completely free. The only versions that you would need to buy if you want Pro or Premium. And you don't even need a Microsoft account for it. You would just need to download it to your computer. And that's it. Once you've done downloading it, you just need to find some kind of data. I've already found this on GitHub for the world COVID-19 data. And I'll put the link in the description box. So we just need to click the view roll button and as you can see this is the data as a CSV file. So you have two choices, you can either download this data to your computer or you can connect your dashboard to the CSV file by just copying the link and, and using this as the data. So when you put the data in this dashboard by clicking get data, you can just click the web button. So it imports data from a web page and there would be a pop-up that gives a space for you to put a URL in it. That URL is so it can take data from that URL and put it in this dashboard. As you can see all these fields are from that same one. The benefit in connecting it to the web page rather than downloading a file is that Every time the person who created the data updates it, this updates as well. So, but if you just download it, it wouldn't update every time, it would just stay the same. So now that we have this data here, we can just put these in a visual. So as you can see, there are many visuals. There's a map, there's a pie chart, there's a area chart, there's a line chart, there's a clustered bar chart, and these are filters so if you just want to filter which countries have more than a million cases today then you can just filter that here one really important thing to remember is that you should copy this url and not this one because if you try and copy this one it'll just give something totally different so make sure to copy the raw url I'll put both of them in the description box, but you should use this one. So now that we have everything we need, we can start creating our dashboard now. So the first thing that we should do is get a card. So this is a card. And now, now that it's here, we can put the total cases in here. Here, here we are. So this is total cases per million. And this is just total cases. It doesn't matter which one you use because they're almost exactly the same. So we can just stick this here. And as you can see, it just says 1 billion. We can change it to show the exact number. Because it's probably not the exact. Yeah, here we go. The display units in data label should be none. And we want to get rid of this because it just makes it look ugly and we can add a title to make it look more better so we can add total cases and yeah and we can change the color font color to be I don't know white and you can change the background color to be black or 
something and you can align it to the middle make it bigger all these tiny features can make it look much better change the fat family if you want so one more thing you can do is add a background color I don't know make it gold or something whatever you want or we can make this black too and just change this to gold oh yeah now we can't see the now we can't see the data we'll just have to change the form of that so the color make it white and you can just mess around with the size a bit make it how you want it to be Yes, now you can put it in the middle because it's like the main thing. So now we can add a title for this. And we want to make the title show the date for the latest data. To do that, we would create another card. So now we're going to be creating a measure. A measure is like a block, a code that tells it what to do. So if we have this measure, we can add the title which would be me measure worldwide COVID-19 dashboard and make sure to put them under quotation marks and put an and and now we want to keep some space in between so we can create a whole quotation mark with, with a space on it now the last thing that we want to do we're going to have to create another measure for this this time the measure should have something to tell it to give the latest date so if we create another measure here we can add last date we have to put our table in it over COVID and now the date and we put another bracket and then we enter and it should load and now we go back to our original measure now here we just put in the name measure 2 or whatever you want to keep it as and there we go and this measure should work now there it works we can just put it in our card and there we go now we can just expand the size of this to make it as long as we need and make it like this now make it look better see and now the whole day this is meant to be it's July 5th showing 7 5th it's not meant to be the 7th of May now for the format we can remove the category and you can add a background color you can change it to black and then the text can be gold and now we can move this to right on top of our now we should just try and make it as big as this one and there and we can put this slide this one right underneath here and that's one more thing we added to our dashboard and now we can add a couple more cards just to show like the new cases and the total deaths
one really great trick to use is the format painter. So, so if we have this card, so we can just use the same format as that. So, you click on this, click on format painter. Now, format this one, and it instantly becomes exactly like it, except the title's missing. The next thing that we're going to be adding is a chart. We're going to be using a stack column chart and we add the location to it and we add the total cases to it and this is the chart right here. But there's one problem. All this data is wrong. What it's doing, it's summing up all the day's data. So it's taking the total cases from yesterday, and the day before, and the day before, and today, and it's adding it all up, and that's what it's getting. So to fix this, we'll need to add a filter. So right here, we can add a date filter. So we go up here, put a date in here. And this is called a top end filter. It takes the top date of this, so the top one date, so the latest date, and we put date again here. And we change this to the latest date. We hit apply, and yeah, see it's changed to this amount. But the data is still wrong. Another thing that it's doing, it's also summing up all the total cases for all the countries. We have to go to the location and add it here, and then we have to filter the location by only worldwide. So check the world box only, then it'll change to yeah, 11 million 241,655, which is the exact right amount. We have to do the same for deaths and new cases too. So, yeah. Okay, so we fixed these three. These are the exact right amount. So, the next thing we're going to work on is doing this. So, fixing this is almost the same we have to use the exact same filters as you can see in this the worldwide total cases is showing 506,801,126 which is really wrong so we need to add filter in here too and now it should be right yeah that's right, the worldwide cases there. Uh, and then United States is that much. And so on. But we need to remove the world because we don't want that here. So select all. And now search up world. And we remove it. Yeah, now United States is the biggest. Now we can use the format painter to change the format. There, that looks better. Now we can just do a few more tweaks. Yeah, so this is ready. There might be too many countries on it, so we can make it shorter and make it smaller so we've done this and it looks ready the next thing is if we want to see the rest of the countries we can just scroll down through here till the very last one so the next thing that we can do is add a area chart to show the rise of the total cases and total deaths. 
So let's click the area chart and in this area chart we can add the date and we can add the total cases and total deaths and we still need to do, do those filters and one thing in this date is showing the hierarchy but we want to get rid of the hierarchy so we just do the regular date yeah this is how it is but you can still see the data is still wrong look it's showing whatever that is so we need to change it and now we can also change the location so we can do the worldwide only yeah now it's showing the correct one so yeah and now we can just format it formatting is really useful because you need to make your dashboard look as appealing as possible so there we go that title is way too long so let's just change the title the color a few more tweaks in it we'll just make this larger just maybe all the way okay so we're gonna be adding a line chart now just to show the new cases per day so let's add a line chart so right here let's put it then wait why isn't this going I think we may have used up all the space okay so we might need to space it out a bit okay so now we can add this line chart like right here I've made some space I might put another card here so we put this line chart like right here like just in line with these ones okay so we put the new cases in this and we put the date in this so add the date here and see it's going by the hierarchy but we have to change it to just date so I'll go like that yeah but the data is most likely wrong yeah the new cases are meant to be less so we need to change it to the location filter okay so we've done it and now it looks like the data is correct now see yeah it's the same so now we can just do the format painter so we're gonna be changing this new cases by date and yeah this one's good too now I'm gonna be adding a day since card so what this means is that it's going to be counting how many days since the first case. So to do this, I'll have to add another card. So right here, it'll go perfectly in that spot. So we'll just make it a bit smaller and there. And now we have to make a measure. So the latest date in this data minus the earliest date in the data which will give us that much for a date there's a special function called the date diff and now first date of our date column in that the next date would be last date now the interval would be days and now this should work now so I just add this measure in it and it should work now yep 187 so I'm pretty sure this is correct so now we can format this so we're gonna make these a bit longer so we've created our dashboard 
I'm just gonna quickly change these colors. One more thing you can do is add a background to your whole dashboard, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm done with that. Now, if you want to add a background to your dashboard, this is how you should. First, make sure you're not clicking any visuals, so, and then go into the format pane, wallpaper, and then click add image, or you can just do a color. So, that's it. I'm not gonna add a map in this dashboard, but I have used a map in my other video, which you should also check out. Okay, so we've created a dashboard, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and refresh it to see if the data changes, and it should. See you then. Hey guys, I'm back now. It's a new day and now I'm going to refresh it and see if my data changes. And there we go. It changed. It's fully working. Total cases changed, new cases, days since first case, everything changed. It works. There we have it. I'm going to put the links for the data and the download Power BI in the description box okay so i hope you found this really fun to make and i hope you found this tutorial really useful and interesting please like and subscribe down below and that's it for today and stay tuned for more videos